Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's SharkWolf1234 here and welcome back to the channel. Today you probably saw the thumbnail and today is more of a discussion video as I'm going to be talking about the five things I want for Mass Effect 5 or 4 or whatever the new game's coming out. It's probably going to come out in a couple of years, but hey, all we can do is think, is think about what the next game could be and this is what I actually want from it. So yeah, let's get started, grab some popcorn and have some fun. Alright, so our first one on the list is returning slash new characters. So for the next Mass Effect game, I want more of the characters in the franchise from the OG trilogy and some from Andromeda to return. And from the video clip you just saw, I think for the Turian squad mate, Tyran Kandros should be it, the Turian squad mate, because he's really supportive of Ryder, and he's... He also has a comic book to himself. Just to let you guys know, I do have a comic book from Mass Effect. Um, I'm kind of weir reading in a s weird order. I'm not, like, reading it from, like, the release to the end. But I, I read the, I think, the Discovery. But I read Kandros's, and I actually thought it was pretty interesting. He has an interesting backstory. Um, he's, he's supportive of Ryder, and he's like, Hey, just talk to me, even if you need a vent or something, or, like... You know what I mean, right? So, like, I honestly think he would be a good romance option, and even the community thinks he would be a good romance option. So I think, honestly, he should be the Turian squad mate. For our Krogan squad mate, I think Rex might return. Some people have been theorizing that, like, Rex could return. But, like, it's, it's kind of a mixed bag because, like, of your choices, like, in the OG trilogy, if you killed Rex or not. But I also think Grunt would be a good... Um, person to make a return. I think that'd be good. And then you also have Liara. I think Liara would be good. She would also probably continue her romance if you did it in earlier games. But yeah. And I also think that a get, we should have a guest squad mate, but like not like a regular looking guest. I think we should have a guest juggernaut or like a guest prime because like I think it would be really interesting that way. Like, even though you'd be a tank, he, he... I mean, he could probably be overpowered. I don't know. It really depends on Bioware. But I actually really liked Legion as a character, and I find the guest backstory really interesting. And I actually think if they do use Perfect Destroy as the canon ending, I think they could actually make that not much of as a problem. Because I think the guest could, like, maybe... Like, I saw some theory videos, but, like, maybe they hid in their server or something, but I th or maybe they got out of the Milky Way, but either way, we've seen, like, other universes or other galaxies more than just the Milky Way. I still think it's possible that the Geth could have survived the perfect destroy, destroy blast if it's canon, if it's, if it's the canon ending. But either way, yeah, I think we should have another guest squad, mate. And, yeah, that's just what I think about returning characters. I think we should have some returning ones and some new ones. But, yeah, that's just what I think. Anyway, on to the next one. Alright, now, for the next one. The second one, playable races. Bioware. Please, let us play as different races for the next game. This is getting kind of old, Bioware. <laughs> Alright guys, what I mean here is that, look right on the screen, I've been playing as a Turian in multiplayer for like, a, a long time. And if you've seen my live stream, I played as a Turian soldier for straight up 5 hours. That's all I ever played as. And honestly, I had a blast playing multiplayer, and really just playing as a Turian in general. I really had lots of fun, and I got to play as someone else rather than a human. Playing as a human for four games straight is kind of boring, guys. And honestly, they, they really need to integrate playable races into the next game, and I think this is a must. I really want to play as a Turian character in the next game. It could really dig deep on Turian and cultural backgrounds depending on your character. They... And also, here's the best part, guys. Bioware already did this stuff. They have the blueprints set up for them. They already did this in one of their games, which is I'm currently playing Dragon Age Inquisition. I, they, you could like select multiple races. You have like a dwarf, an elf, a human, and a Quinari. I chose the Quinaris. It should be on the screen up right now, but yeah, that's what it looks like. But honestly, they already did the playable races thing before. Sure, it's going to be like a little more significantly different, but like... Honestly, 
they, they, this is a game about space and multiple races. If you guys actually haven't seen or know about it yet, there's actually a mod on the internet called Tarian Rider, and you can literally play as a Tarian in Mass Effect and Andromeda single player, and it really just does a lot different to the entire game, playing as a different race, and I really had a blast playing as a Tarian race and, like, other races. I, I actually am almost maxing out Asari, an Atari character. But yeah, like honestly, they just need to add playable races in the next game. I think it's a must, and I'm just kind of tired of playing as a human for four games straight. It's kind of, to me, it's just a lack of creativity. They already have all the blueprints, they already did it with a different game. I just don't understand why they can't do it with Mass Effect. But anyway, yeah, that's just what I think. Anyway, me speak about playable races, we have to go on to the next topic, which is... Alright, so for number three, I know this is going to make some of you kind of mad at me, but I just kind of feel this way about the, how the next game should be for the next protagonist, but I think Shepard should not be the next protagonist for the Mass Effect game. But hear me out. Don't get mad at me yet. I think Shepard should be in the next game, but not the protagonist. I think the protagonist should be a new playable race, or a new character that you can make on your own, I think they could, like, it doesn't have to be, like, I think they can do better than Ryder. I think Ryder had a couple flaws in the character. But I think if they do good protagonist writing I with your own character, I think they can do it well. But anyway, on to the Shepard. I think they shouldn't be the protagonist. But the, we can still have Shepard in the game. I think we could have plenty of mentions from the next game. Or, Shepard is a side character. This could work in a couple ways. I think in Mass Effect Andromeda, you could play as your twin. Andromeda, you could play as your twin. I think that's an interesting idea. Maybe you could, like, swap between the protagonist and Shepard, like, sometimes. Or, like, we could have a new function in the next Mass Effect game where you could swap squad mates. Where you're, like, in Dragon Age, you can literally swap your own squad mates and you can become play as them. That could fix some things up, too. Like, with the whole playable racist thing, but I don't think they're going to do that, but otherwise, I just, I think Shepard, like, is probably better off being a side character for me, because, like, I don't want to play as, a, like I said, I don't want to play as another human again, like, I enjoyed Shepard's story, and I still want it to go on, but I want to play as someone else as well, and try to experience their story too, and I think, sh if the, but the best of both worlds is having Shepard as a side character and the protagonist. And you could even have Shepard on your, te your team as a squad mate, and he could give advice about stuff. I think that would actually work great too. But honestly, that's just what I think about Shepard being in the game. But yeah, anyway, I just want Shepard to be a side character, not the main protagonist, but yeah. Anyway, on to the next one. Now on to number four. Obviously, the one and only a good story. Bioware, I don't, I'm actually not as super worried about this one because Bioware is known for making really good um, stories. But I will say, Mass Effect and Drama, like, so far I'm one fourth throughout the game and I've seen some bits of the game, including some of the romances. But I think, honestly, Andromeda was eh. It's okay. I've been spending most of my the majority of my time in the multiplayer, but like otherwise, I think Andromeda was all right so far as I'm experiencing it. But like, it kind of the beginning was a little bit dragged out for me. You could say, like it, it didn't have this interesting intro as good as good as the OG trilogy. Like it didn't introduce you like as to, like, the specters or anything, it's just kind of like, oh, you're on this human arc, and, like, you're journeying to a new galaxy. Like, I guess that's kind of cool, but, like, I don't know how about that is for world building. I don't know. I'm just, basically, what I'm trying to say is that I feel like Andromeda didn't, like, have an amazing start with me compared to the OG trilogy, or, like, hook my interest but I feel like with, I'm hoping for the next Mass Effect game, I think it could, I think the story will be good. Like, really good. I, I'm honestly, I think Bioware can do it, and I think it'll actually be a better story than Andromeda. But that's just basically the whole summary of this talk is that I just want a good story better than Andromeda. That's all I'm asking. Anyway, 
Yeah, on to the last one. Alright, and then on to the last one. I think we should have more romance options in the next Mass Effect game. And what I mean by more romance options, I kind of mean more in diversity. So, like, what I mean is that I notice when I'm playing Mass Effect, we don't even have a Krogan romance yet. We don't. And it's kind of shocking that way. And, like, I honestly think that, like, there has been hints in, like, side quests where we can, like, help a couple get together with, along with a Krogan and all that romantic stuff. But, like, why can't we ourselves romance a Krogan? And I'm kind of surprised we can't do that yet. And, like, honestly, my boy Legion, I like him a lot. And, like, consider me weird, but I think, like, I want to try romancing a guest. Just give me, give, give me more diversity options. More, like, I want to romance almost every race here. Like, stop giving me so many humans to romance. Because, like, guys... We see humans every day, and, like, being able to, like, fall in love with, like, just different races and, like, not always a human all the time, as we always see, is kind of interesting. And, like, that's what I like about Mass Effect. It really gives, like, a different feel. I, I, guys, if you guys should know, I love Garrus' romance. It's my favorite in the game, in the whole trilogy. It's my favorite romance ever. And I really, and I really put, I like... Garrus and Shepard together. They just actually make a good couple, too, along with excellent writing. That's also what I want. Like, better writing in, like, the game that goes along with a good story. But, like, honestly, I just think we should have more romance options and better diversity in the next Mass Effect game. But, yeah, that's what I think. Anyway, guys, that's my video. This was kind of more of a rant slash discussion video, I guess. But... I think by the way we'll do the next game really good. I just the the main thing I really want is playable races. But yeah, that's just what I think. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you listening. Take your time to listen to me talk about this stuff. Anyway, hope you guys had fun. Uh listening to me talking. Anyway, have a great day guys. I really Thank you for so much for supporting my channel. I have like 103 subscribers now. I did not know my channel would ever get to 100. I really appreciate your support, guys. Thank you so much. It means so much to me. And I'm glad I get to do these discussion videos. So I get to talk with you guys. Please comment in the comment section. Um, if you agree or disagree with my opinions, what you think about the next Mass Effect game should be. And please be open-minded. Um, I, I'm I'm an open person, guys. If you think Shepard should be the next protagonist, that's fine with me. But that's just what I think, guys. Really, I, I, I'm fine with your guys' opinions. I just like talking to you guys as, as a community. And that, yeah, have a great day. Be safe. Bye. To the extraction site.